What's up gamers, Jim here, and welcome to Doom 64 on Stadia. Now this is the first look, and I've never played the old Doom game, so I don't even know what I'm expecting. I've seen, like, a speedrun of Doom, because, I don't know, the, the speedrun community is going insane over, like, oh wow, it, you finished it in, like, less than 11 seconds or something like that. I mean, the videos I watched are really interesting, and the amount of effort people do just to, like, skim like a split second and stuff like that is very interesting but that's the only moment I've actually seen like proper Doom gameplay um, let's just start the game uh, you know what I have no idea what the, the default is I don't know what normal difficulty is but I'm just gonna I'm gonna uh, should I be gentle that sounds too easy um, you know what I'll do bring it on Let's just try that one. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is wow, this is an antique game. <laughs> um I do need to change the mouse sensitivity is way too high. Although I have a feeling I just insulted every Doom fan. <laughs> like, no, it's supposed to be high. <laughs> um <laughs> let's see. X sensitivity, overall sensitivity, acceleration. Let's just put that there. I don't even know what that is. Like, it's just a slider. There's no numbers or anything. Wow, this is this is really old school. Uh, it's still fast, but you know what? Screw it. I guess you're supposed to play it fast, anyways. Wow. If you look at this barrel, it's actually just a 2D image that rotates based on where you're looking it's it oh wow this is this is awesome I want to say it it gives me nostalgia but it doesn't because I've never played this game but it gives me nostalgia in terms of like the the graphics and the art style of like these 3d and 2d uh, trickeries to like to make it look like it's 3d like the game world I'm in right now is obviously 3d but it's mixed with so many 2d images as well that gives you the illusion that it's 3D. So there's no like jump button I guess. I am pressing space. Oh! I don't know why that scared me. It's the, it's just a 2D sprite that just scared me. <laughs> now in the speedruns I've watched, I don't know this level at all. So even, even the enemies are 2D. And when you look at, if you move around, even the ammo and the bodies. So like anything interactable with the game seems to be just 2D. Oh, these are like ammo. Oh, if you go really fast, you can um, just jump over them. Can I shoot these? Oh, yes. What about that? Oh. Wow. I just want to say that Doom... Um, Doom um, Eternal, <laughs> the one I played, is nothing like this. <laughs> um, well, they're teasing me. How do I get in there? Is there any like crouch button or anything? I'm pressing like every button. Mouse. Nope. Binding. So we are. Turn right, left, right. W S strafe. Oh, I'm I am strafing. Attack. Speed is space. E is to use auto run. I don't know why you need auto run. Um, next weapon, scroll wheel. Uh, auto map. Zoom in, zoom out. Quick save, quick load. <laughs> this is so old school, it's insane. Um, so what guns do we have? Oh, we got, we got a fist. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this punching it! <laughs> it's not even... <laughs> that is barely an animation. Like, you can see how the fist is like cropped out, like... <laughs> like on like on Photoshop or something. Like, they used a the magic wand to crop it out. <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome. Wow. I mean, back then, this was probably like mind-blowing, you know, like, Oh wow, look at this 3D graphics, you need like a PC and stuff. Even though this is called Doom 64, I'm 
90% sure that this game was on, um, well, the Nintendo 64. <laughs> what? Can I, like, what's, what's up there? Like, why? Like, can I do something about that? Oh, I can! It's a secret area. Okay, holding space. Oh, wow. I've got a, like, a chainsaw gun. <laughs> Wait, oh, I want that gun back. <laughs> it sounds like a beard trimmer. <laughs> oh, this, they actually put effects on when you just, like, go on a wall. <laughs> it sounds like a beard trimmer. Okay, let's. I want an actual gun. I think that's like there's just a shotgun. You need a blue key. Now I just want to point out, I can't look up and down. <laughs> I wonder if there's like like if you get this game on PC, I wonder if there's a mod to actually look up and down, or would it break the game? Oh my god! Oh my god! These are these are more scary than Doom Eternal <laughs> uh, monsters, <laughs> demons. I'm doing good in like second difficulty. Oh, I got a blue card. I wonder what that did. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that behind me? I just heard something. What? What was that? I don't know what that does. Okay, let's just go back to the... Uh, to, to the blue room. The sound effects are just like making me unease. <laughs> like I feel like there's like someone behind me all the time. Oh, what was that? I heard a shotgun. That wasn't me, was it? What the hell? Oh, I didn't even see him. I keep pressing right click to like aim down sights. <laughs> okay, just hold space and you go faster. Oh, I think this place opened. Oh, what? What? Oh, found the secret area. Uh, what the? What is going on? I don't get this. No, I just wanna. Oh, oh. Uh, I can't go there without destroying that. But that's gonna hit. That's gonna damage me. Yeah. Okay. What on? Isn't this where I started? I I don't know what's going on in this game. <laughs> What was the map button? Oh, it's this. Oh, wow. Look at that. There was a zoom out button as well. Oh, my God. Wow. I, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> um, okay, I can see the blue area that I was in. And I can see the, where I found the blue key. Okay. Oh. It's interesting they added a map. Oh, I can actually walk like this as well. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, is it like some sort of like easier way to see like doorways and stuff? Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Give me um, give me my shotgun. Let's go here. Let's go this way. I wonder if like this is the genuine um, the, like the end the Doom 64 version, or are there any, like, improvements? I mean, they, we just saw that this has achievements for Stadia, but, like, what else is there? What else is, like, has been modernized? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm, get, I'm getting the beard trim out. I'm getting the beard trim out. Yeah, let me just trim your beard. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what is that on the... Well, these corpses don't move, but there's something like, what are these? They move. Can I step on them? Can't shoot them. Can't even aim down. 
Uh, what did that do? I feel like it just like expanded a little bit. Oh, there's something here. <laughs> okay, if I spam E on the wall, it makes that noise. <laughs> um, so I I hit that. I think that turned green. I don't remember. Um. Do you think this is the moment where I should be using my map? Do I see anything like abnormal? Oh. What about this thing right in front of me? Like there's like these four white lines. Okay, so to go there I'd have to go through here. Oh. Okay, I, I guess I opened this spot. <gasps> oh my god. What? I just pressed. What? <laughs> I just pressed D and it took me here. Okay, hold on. Oh! Oh my god. Wait, what? Didn't that work? Oh, it didn't work. Okay. I thought maybe if I press E while the map is on, it would actually show me where the camera is looking at. But it doesn't. It just shows me the direction. So they, the developers have thought about that. <laughs> I thought I was gonna like outsmart the developers there. Oh wait, what? I'm stuck here. I mean, sure, I could destroy that, but I'm stuck here. I'm actually stuck here, right? What? Uh. Okay, isn't this a camera? Like, I'm sure that's just a camera. What on, what on earth am I supposed to be doing here? What if I punch it? <laughs> I punch like fire on top of that at least. <laughs> Get the beard trim out. It's like there's no ammo for this. I can use as many as I want. Oh, I, when I'm doing weapon switch, so... I think... Did I bug the game? Like, I can't do anything else. I almost... Um... I can save the game, but it's gonna save me here. Oh my god. What, what if I do load game? No. I'm just gonna do restart level. I think I, 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 let me just let me just try like everything I can think of. I'm holding space, sprinting. I'm pressing E. I'm shooting. I think I either this was a trap or I bugged the game. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm just gonna restart because I feel like this wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, I'm just gonna take that. Let me just see what the map looks like when you haven't explored. Oh, so you, uh, the map only shows you the places you've actually been. Oh, and it, and when you do this mode, it kind of shows you where to go a little bit, like where you haven't went. Okay, we got. We got that. Boom. Kill that guy. Kill this guy. Easy peasy. Can I take this torch? What's up? <laughs> oh! Didn't actually expect that. Hmm. Something new I just found out. I'm just pressing E on like everything. Oh! Oops, let's just go here. Oh, this is where I got the chainsaw. Uh, no, there we are. And then there should be a guy right there. Take the blue key, press press E on that. 
There should be another guy right there. And one more here. I've already memorized the level. <laughs> I'm just gonna press that again just in case. Um oh does it just What is that noise? I just heard something here. What? I just heard a noise. Something's happening. Oh. Okay. And then the blue room. What's up? Died. Died. And then there should be an enemy coming there. There, he's dead as well. It's actually interesting because um, that enemy that I'm staring at right... Whoa, is there another one here? I just heard something. What the hell is that noise? As I was saying, it's interesting because the enemy there is above level, but my, my bullets go above. What? I'm hearing something on this side. Oh. This game is so spooky. <laughs> oh. Die. There we are. <laughs> now, what we can do is we hit that E. You do hear a little sound effect of the direction of what happened. Yeah, what is that noise? I'm hearing it from this direction. Oh, it's, it's these guys. Uh, let me go here. Opens this secret room. Oops. Oh. Just wanted to go back down. Doesn't it go back down? Yeah, it does. Oh, I just realized what you're supposed to do. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it isn't. Like the camera takes me here. When I before I got stuck, the camera was showing me this thing. Anyways, I was thinking this is what you're supposed to do. Um. So, make it go down again, somehow. Okay, never mind. So, oh, I already did shoot it. You know what, I'm not even gonna go through there. I'm, see if I can... Yeah, I could do this. Cool. And then we go here. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. No, <gasps> no, no, no. This is where I got stuck last time. Hold on. I'm saving my game. I'm saving my game just to make sure I, I don't mess it up again. It's not going down. Okay. Yeah, it's showing me where I was. Oh my god. All I had to do was press E on the wall. I just restarted for no reason. I could have swore I pressed E though, like on every wall. I wonder what um oh I wonder what a pistol's like. What where are they going? What is wrong with the AI? I think the enemies were like going around because they couldn't figure out how to get up these stairs. Were they actually going to go around? Oh, this is where I started. Yeah, I think the AI was actually just going to go around. I'm just going to do another save. I know there was a hotkey for saving, but I forgot what it was. And I don't want to just accidentally load instead. Oh my god. Is that it? <laughs> well, I think that's it. Nice. <laughs>
kills 100%. 91? <laughs> Secrets 50? What? <laughs> really? I feel like all of them. Now, it says a password on the bottom. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm thinking... Oh, you know what? I think... I don't know. I mean, the N64 did have a saving system. I was thinking maybe the save feature never existed on the N64. But, like, as in, like, the password on the bottom is just for... Oh, entering Terraformer. Password. Okay, I don't know what the password thing is for. I thought it was something like Crash Bandicoot 1 where you have a password to, to resume where you are instead of a save file because Crash Bandicoot 1 never had a save file system. I thought that was a guy in there, but it just turned out it was a demon. Anyways, um, I think that's it. This is Doom 64, that was level 1. Uh, this is the first look for Doom 64. Um, I don't know what to think. Uh, it's it's actually a fun game. It's completely different to Doom Eternal. Like, I don't know how to feel if I was a Doom fan. They're both great games, but they are so different. And it's not even just like a graphical enhancement. The gameplay is different as well. Like, this Doom feels more like... Um, I don't know. I want to say easier, to be honest, but... I don't know, like, I don't know what counts as easy or hard for a Doom game. They're definitely different, um... It was a nice experience for me to even play this. You know what, I forgot this was even on Stadia. <laughs> I I genuinely was thinking for a few seconds that... How did I get to this point? Did I just download the old game or an emulator or something? Then I just remembered, oh yeah, this is on Stadia. <laughs> um... What what an experience! I mean, it's like four pounds, I think, on the st uh, on the Stadia store. So it's up to you if like if you want to buy it or not. I mean, it's it's cheap, but it, you know, what? if you're a, if you're a Doom fan, if you're like a old school Doom fan, you might as well buy it, right? Like at least you have the game and you could play it anywhere, even on your phone. Um, if I had the game uh, that I liked back then, like in the nineties, like. Crash Bandicoot 1 or 2 or 3 whatever, the PlayStation World Crash Bandicoot games, if I could like play that on Stadia, I would buy that like, <laughs> I'll buy that so hard <laughs> um, but yeah, this game is is fun um, I think I wouldn't have played this as a kid, like it's even spooking me right now and I'm an adult <laughs> so there was no way I would have played this as a kid. I, I played games like Vice City as a kid, um, like GTA games, but Demon stuff is like, nah, that that would have gave me nightmares. <laughs> but I'm glad that I experienced this game now. Um, uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> um, thank you for watching my video. This is Gem, and I'll see you on the next one.